Welcome back to Gemini the Truck. I'm Jeff, that's Gemini. Join us today as we go camping in the backcountry in a place that we haven't been before. Good food, good beer, and the Indianapolis 500 along with an adventure in the backcountry to check out some other sites. All right, let's go. Yeah. It's a little chilly this morning, that's for sure. Because I think I just felt a little damp. Hey everyone, I've um, just been hanging out for a bit. Um, girlfriend's in the truck having a nap. Uh, we were both up really early this morning and it's kind of chilly, so yeah, we're just kind of hanging out. I'm just gonna show you the campsite this is a pretty awesome place it's pretty awesome in here have a fire pit right there where our chairs are this is our new upgrade this is our new upgrade we picked this up a few weeks ago it's our new privacy shelter when we're in the back country we actually use it as our bathroom because well when you're out in the back country where are you supposed to go to the bathroom if you don't have a trailer it's just the way it is works out pretty good so yeah um our last one we picked up who what was it four years ago and it was just like a little pop-up one it was like off amazon 30 bucks it it was good but when it got windy it did not do too well at all <laughs> There has been many a mornings we woke up and it's been flattened on the ground. We have to stand it back up and stuff. So yeah, it's uh, that's gonna be way better in the wind in Southern Alberta. Yeah, this place is pretty awesome. Got a chipmunk really mad that we're in this front yard. So yeah, this place is pretty epic. Oof, that sun is crazy, crazy town right there. Sun is right there, so. I'll try to do my best to keep the exposure at at a minimum but yeah this place is pretty awesome right now it's still pretty chilly that sun's finally coming out oh look at there's a bunny rabbit I don't know if you can see him hopping around over there yeah so yeah it's pretty chilly this morning it said it was supposed to be uh, seven six degrees this morning and uh yeah it um it is definitely not it's more like a zero it's very moist you can feel the humidity in the air uh, even though it's only like 45 degrees there's a few people that are camping over there they're gonna you'll probably hear them ripping around when i'm filming today with with their uh side by sides and quads so yeah this place is pretty awesome um i'm just gonna hang out for a bit wait for my girlfriend to wake up from her slumber and uh i think we're gonna have some breakfast and just hang out have a fire a little later have a beer 30 how would you like that i think that's probably a good idea and uh just enjoy this place man just enjoy this place uh, i haven't been out this way in a long time I'm not gonna tell you where it is some place some places i just like to keep a secret because then people come here and wreck it for everybody or then you can't get camping spots when you really want to so sometimes it's best to just keep stuff keep stuff uh to yourself so 
I'm gonna hang out and uh, I'm gonna set up the diesel heater because I think we're gonna run the diesel heater tonight. We were planning on not to, but it's getting pretty chilly overnight and I think it's supposed to get even chillier uh, tonight. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up the diesel heater a little later, but I'll wait for my girlfriend to get up and uh, go from there. All right, man? See you a little later. Hey everyone, welcome back. I uh, set up the diesel heater and the lovely girlfriend is cooking breakfast. Blueberry sausages and eggs. We were supposed to have hash brown, but well, they got left at home. So, mistakes were made, it happens. At least it's not the girl. Hey, I forgot the girl one time when it happened, it sucked. Yeah, but got the diesel heater going, um, have it run in a little bit because uh, a little bit of condensation in the tent last night from it being cold and us sleeping in there, so it's good. It is bright out, man. I need to shorten you guys up a little, maybe. There we go, there we go, shorten you up. My girlfriend's a little cold, but she even had a nap this morning. <laughs> Blueberry sausages are so good. Chrome, you you don't even know. Chrome, you don't even know. <laughs> Blueberry maple sausages are the shiznick. Yeah, they're good, 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 good. Oh, here comes another motorcycle coming by. These guys, but back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> yeah, you might need to turn that down a little bit, eh? I'm used, you're, 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 you're used to the other girl. My girlfriend hasn't used this new girl yet. And uh, it's, um, it works good. You can get it down to like, almost not even on. This is great. Yeah. Normally by now the other one would have been the off. You don't get to well, know. Yeah, plus what's fine tuning? Our other one was on or off. <laughs> it was all the way on or all the way off. You either get burnt or not cooked at all. Yeah, it was burnt or raw. Yeah, craziness. It's starting to warm up. I haven't got my jacket off yet because it's still kind of chilly. So, still kind of chilly. But anyways, yeah. See, cruising by, cruising by. It's bright out today, man. Oh, I need to change my battery. What? Whatever. If it dies. It dies. Yeah. Whew. That sun is bright. I might need to get my sunglasses at some point. Oh, oh. Mm. This is gonna be so good. My, my stomach is grumbling. <laughs> <laughs> Took my heartburn pill, so I'm good now. Last night was rough for me. I didn't take my pill yesterday morning, and I had a beer last night. It, Something that I ate last night on top of the beer, I almost died. My guts were trying to kill me last night. It was not good. It was not good. Yeah. Well, guys, I'll be back. I need to change this battery. It's gonna, 
It's gonna kick the bucket in about 3.5 seconds. See you in a bit. There we go. Full battery. I think my girlfriend wanted to make our staple camping breakfast, but we forgot the hash browns. Could be worse, could be worse. We always forget one thing, well, never, never fails. And it's our first trip of the season. Like we don't, we didn't know well, what we had. It's our first, <laughs> it's our first camping trip of the season. <laughs> My first camping trip of the season. No, not ours. Ours together, yes. Oh, look at those. I know. How does it feel to cook on a new girl that it's actually is? cooking nicely. Yeah, I know, right? Wonderful. I've used it a few times. This is her first. She's not, she's not a winter camper. It takes a certain level of crazy. Yes. Oh, I didn't want that to happen. What, what were you, oh, oh wow. Well, we can clean it. It needs probably good cleaning with some power wash. No, but I mean uh, the girl. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, so it's bright out, man. I might have to get my sunglasses. For sure, for sure. This place is beautiful though, eh? Some of you might recognize this from one of my videos. I've been here before, but it wasn't. I think it was la beginning of last year. Beginning of last year, sometime last year. I can't remember exactly when. I'd have to go back and look, but yeah. Ooh, eggs. Scrambled. Yeah. I think that's all we're getting is scrambled. Scrambled is it. <laughs> That's fine. Scrambled's good. My girlfriend's a really good cook, by the way. She's, like, she's generally the camp cooker because she just likes cooking camping. What? You're usually the camp cooker. Uh huh. I like cooking. The one thing we haven't done very much in the last couple of years is actually cooked on a fire. But I we've know, actually we had lots had of fire fires. bands. We've cooked so many fire bands. We yeah. haven't been able to. Our first couple of years, we used to cook Put lots everything. of on the fire. It's so good. Yeah. You don't know good chicken until so you've had good chicken on the campfire. Our first camping trip together was five years ago, actually not all that long ago. We almost froze. We've we've learned a few things since then. Yeah. It was uh it was not fun. fun. It was an interesting camping trip. Yeah. Sleeping on an air mattress, I don't recommend. With no we, sleeping bags, we, we had, had no blankets, sleeping bags. not sleeping bags. Yeah, it was it was it was <laughs> not and it was like and we didn't it bring was, enough water either. We, we ran out of water. We ran out of water too. And uh, we we learned a few things then, that day. We learned a lot of things that day. I think we went and picked up sleeping bags almost right away. Or did we do another trip before that? No, we picked up sleeping bags right away. Yeah, we did. We got sleeping bags on the way. And then it wasn't long after that our uh, our air magic took took a flying leap too, and we got <laughs> some nice Cabela cots, which will be still used. We've been talking about it. I think when we go for week-long camping trips, we're gonna just use a ground tent rather than the rooftop tent, just because we like to go on adventure and I don't wanna have to close up the tent every day. And it wear and tear on the tent and this, that, and the other. So lay down a ground tent and then we can go cruise around. If we need to go to the store, we can. Yeah, it's, there's gonna be a few things, so it'll be good. All right, I think, uh, I think food's getting close to done, so. I will see you guys a little later. Maybe when we start eating or whatever. Ooh, she put bacon. Ooh, yeah. All right. You know, I want a f knife and a fork, babe. Pardon me? You want that knife and a fork? You want to put a little bit of water in the... Oh, in there to get it to boil a bit? Yeah. That sounds like a very good idea. These utensils have taken a beating. So I think we are definitely going to upgrade these. We bought them a few years ago and they're taking a little bit of a beating. For sure. Yeah. These blueberry maple, we're going to have to deal with those cutlery. Yeah, I think I'll order that off of Amazon. Yeah. Like the ones we have at home. We've had them for a long time. They're just starting to come apart. Yeah. All right. I mean, eight. I'll see you guys later. I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we're just hanging out today, enjoying the the sound of the dirt bike track.
Yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> Happy prayer 30. Had this a few times before. It's good. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Don't mind all the noise. There's lots of side-by-sides, four-wheel, even more than before. It's kind of crazy, so. Yummy! So if we're gonna have supper soon enough. And then uh, we're gonna enjoy this fire and then uh, we're pretty much gonna go to bed, I think. We were both up at 4.30 this morning, so yeah. Yeah, good times. So, happy birth 30, and I'll see you in the morning. Morning everyone. Sorry about last night that I cut it so short, but <clears throat> we had a bunch of neighbors um, roll in. They were parked just down the way, and I'm pretty sure they weren't allowed to park to be there, so they were told to move. So, yeah, I had to cut it short, but um, I'm awake. I've been just kind of puttering around the campsite waiting for my girlfriend to kind of move or kind of wake up, I should say. Um, and then I think we're going to pack up and we're going to go on a little adventure. It's been a few years since my girlfriend's been here. It's only been like a year since I've been here since they did all the renovations to all the campsites. So we want to go and check out the other new sites that weren't open last year but I think they opened up this year so we're gonna do that this morning and then we'll close it up from there but yeah we're not done yet I feel that I kind of chipped you off the last couple days because it's been so flipping loud and I filming's been kind of a pain so I'm gonna pack up the truck and then I will uh, I will see you in the truck all right Welcome back, got the truck all packed up. Turn the music down. <laughs> Just in case, don't want to get a copyright strike. That would suck. It's always a drag. But anyways, we're gonna go uh, for a little bit of an adventure this morning. Um, girlfriend and I haven't been back uh, way back where we have gone before for a very long time. And last time it was, it was some epic spots, but they came in here, the government, and got rid of pretty much, well, they got rid of the free dispersed camping and turned all the dispersed camping into like seven campgrounds that are between 20 and $15 a night in this provincial park. And uh, yeah, we haven't been back there to check it out yet. Some of the spots were pretty awesome. So yeah, we're gonna go uh, have a little bit of adventure. We're gonna go check out some of the spots and see how it is. Oh, there's Swings Creek. That's yeah. a big member tempt in there, eh? No big member. Yeah. So, yeah, so come for a drive. We're going to have a little bit of fun. All right. See you in a bit. Yeah. Wow, this is. Yeah. Yeah, they actually are decent. That looks like a camp uh, tent. Well, that was cool. That was uh, designated camping four. We were in five last night. That was a nice spot. This place used to be majorly busy and it got actually a little bit out of control uh, with all the HOV and dirt bikers and stuff. So the government kind of stepped in and said, ah, uh, yeah, no, we're, we're gonna do this. And too bad, so sad. I'm I still like camping back here. I don't think we would camp over at five again. No, I would camp over here. That one was good. That I one like I think would be them. very quiet. You wouldn't yeah. have people cruising back and forth all the time for sure. All right. Yeah, yeah I was wrong before. Camp designated camping areas, one to three are on the front side, and then on the back side it's four to seven. There's a little water. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, girlfriend and I wanted to travel here one, uh, camp here one day, but they, they 
went and put in a bunch of shrubs, blocked it off so people couldn't just drive in there. Put in some big things. Holy moly. Yeah, it would have been epic, but you know, people take advantage of just and do things and then the government steps in and takes it away. This is why you respect. Not think it's a privilege, a right to camp out here. It's not. It was a privilege by any means. And uh, yeah, government steps in and takes it away, guys. Yeah, so that was a wicked spot. People used to camp there all the time, but they, the government just stepped in and take it away. Even that one, the well, no, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a trail. That's a trail for ATV. Oops. Yeah, it looks like they're still doing work on this campsite. It's not quite open yet. I think this might be six or seven, but there's no signs and it looks like it's not quite ready for business yet at all. So we're gonna keep going down and check it out. But this looks like it might be a shaking bad but this road all of a sudden turned really bumpy <laughs> uh, well we didn't find the two campsites we think the first construction that we pass is going to be number six they're not quite operational they'll probably won't be operational operational until probably later this year or even maybe next yeah. they look like they're well on their way to trying it out but uh, anyways uh, let me know if you want us to do an adventure down this road and check it out with Onyx Off-Road. Yeah, I think they would be a fun trip. And then find a camping spot afterwards type deal, but... Anyways, I'm going to close it out here. Thanks for joining. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment. Until next one, stay adventurous, and I'll see you on the next one. This is a breakfast, don't you think? <laughs>